We'll get the first leaked renders of a new Google Nexus 10 made by Samsung. The Moto G joins the Google Play Edition crowded at an affordable price, and Samsung plans to revolutionize the battery with the Galaxy S5. I'm Jaime Rivera, and the toughest part about having a rough day is the fact that it's still not over yet. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as those of you interested in the Moto G, hold it right there. It's now available as a Google Edition phone as well for pretty much the same price tag. You'll get faster versions of Android, which is great even though the Moto G was pretty much a stock Android phone. But aside from that, the Moto X is now available in Europe. You can pick it up in the next two weeks for a little bit of a steeper price, but it's still a great phone to consider even though you're still getting the same camera. Now let's talk about Samsung as we've got some conflicting reports about a March event happening in London and New York City and these events actually don't happen at the same time. Which is interesting, in the past we had the Galaxy S4 launched in New York but we had a parallel event happening in London so we still don't know exactly what we're getting because there are other conflicting reports talking about MWC as well. Now even more interesting is the fact that apparently the Galaxy S5 will bring a newer, denser battery which will give it more battery life. Hopefully the Galaxy S lineup has always had trouble with its battery, so hopefully this will bring something great to the table. Now speaking of a Samsung phone with a good battery, those of you rocking the Galaxy Note 3 International variant, there is an Android 4.4 KitKat update already available to people in Poland, which means that you should be getting the update very soon if you have the phone. These are great news, a lot of people have been waiting for this, but sadly we still don't have any specific news on US carrier variants and you know how that drama becomes, so uh, stay tuned, happy lucky you guys in the international section of the world. Now let's talk about Sony as the company launched all their high-end phones at CES 2014 and we didn't see any mid-tiered or low-end phones, phablets or either. And as it turns out, we now have a new T2 Ultra phone announced today, which is like a Z Ultra only bogged down with a little bit of a different design. And then we have the entry-level E1, Xperia E1, which is the real entry-level phone. We don't have any specific price or markets yet. Most likely this will start in Europe. but. Anyways, if you're interested in a lower or mid-tiered version of whatever phones are out there from Sony already, these are good options. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we get another leaked render of the Google Nexus 10, even though this time it does look a little more credible. This time it's not made by ASUS, apparently it will be made by Samsung, though it'll be rocking a lot of the specifications that we currently already see in the Nexus 10. And the only change is that we will be having this Exynos 5 processor on this new tablet, which is actually bad news. The Exynos processors haven't really done a fantastic job in the past, so stay tuned. We are expecting a new Google Nexus 10 to be announced Someday. We don't have any specific details on when, but anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Uh, what are you expecting from this Google Nexus 10? What would you want from this tablet? Because in my particular case, this is wishful thinking, but I would love a tablet with expandable storage and Nexus, you know, Android stock Android, but uh, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Leave us a comment down below. What do you want? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.